Hi friends, welcome to Azure Video Tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain a few other activities. That is validation get metadata. So if you are planning to run any pipelines and uh, in between that is some of the source data sets or maybe target data sets, few columns are missing. So what will happen? Those will fail, right? So instead of that, you can validate uh, before proceeding to uh, starting your uh, pipeline. What you can do, you can go for validation and still there is option called a get metadata like a, a number of columns available in your source fee at a file or a table same thing uh, count and other sizes as well you can verify so first what i'm doing here i'm created one uh, pipeline and i have drag and drop this activity called validation so here if you go to settings you need to select the data set which data set you are going to cross validate that's called validation then metadata so metadata general tab as a normal only timeout if you want to mention you can mention the timeout in the data set i am selecting the source data set and um, fields list here you can see down that output column count exist item name and size so what will happen it will verify the source file and it will give all the information that's called get metadata some other activities i'm running to show a sample example let's debug this this i'm running again so first validation it succeeded then get metadata succeeded here you can see the get metadata output click on output see so the fields whichever we mentioned there this is called exist file exist or not true means available item name that's called file name is employee.csv size is a 684 bytes column count 8 so that fields whatever we mentioned here those output you will be getting that's called argument or you can say if you want to create uh, display one more argument can go here down you can see this all last modified structure okay if you want to use all the arguments you can create all fields list last modified if you want to use you can use like this publish publishing now mean so validation is activity it is available in uh, area version 2 same thing for get metadata so this activities uh, if we have a uh, data sets and those data sets maybe frequently if they are changing uh, and if if you are using some source files and those files are available or not so that time it is required you can use this before running your copy activity whatever you are doing uh, data flow so let's rerun it again i'm running again so first validation this validation that the particular data set it will validate and the second one what i am doing get metadata so that metadata the fields we need to mention list of fields the list of fields for file here refresh so if you look at the get metadata here you can see this this is a file last modified is november 1st and uh, structure here you can see the structure all the fields and data type okay here you can see this is metadata information total columns 8 and other information here you can see file exist uh, means a true file is available and the file name is this one and the size is this one and the last modified is this the file last modified date so i will show you where it is available because if you go to data set the data set which i have created in available in a blob is a blob storage source folder there is a file name called employee.csv 
if I go to blob the file should exist and the file name and all the fields should exist like total eight columns containers and the source there's a file name called employee.csv so this file is available and uh, here you can go to edit all the fields this is the fields eight columns okay so like this we can go for the size also you can verify see 684 bytes in output here you can see this is our output get metadata 684 byte size last modified last modified is the date here you can see first November 756 that 756 p.m. here you can see okay and the file is exist or not uh, true and the file name is item name is uh, employee.emp.csv so like this we can go for using validation and get metadata activities in Azure pipelines and there are other activities if you want to use like a web hook web hook like if you have a run books if you have created any run book and if you want to call that run book what you can do go to settings give the URL give the URL that run book URL like if you want to refresh uh, any AS cube Azure analysis services cube if you want to refresh you can write uh, Python code or any PowerShell script to refresh that uh, triggering that queue and uh, you can call that uh, URL whatever you have created that run book and that will be triggered here okay so like this we can use uh, this web hook activity and there are other activity web this is any HTTP request if you want to call you can use this go to settings here that method here you can see get post and put three methods are available and URL that URL whatever URL you are going to trigger that you can use this and others I have already explained in other videos look up and uh, wait executing a pipeline and uh, delete and delete here also have uh, here so if you want to delete any files in your source okay uh, normally we will use this delete for file archival for example so daily you are getting multiple files from source system after processing i don't want to maintain those files so i want to move into some archive location so that time is very useful this uh, delete activity so you can delete entire uh, folder or you can delete files you can there is an option called recursively here you can see okay this you can use delete so here what i am doing before processing my file if any file is available in my data lake in target folder i'm going to delete that cleaning the existing files i'm so normally it is required if you are loading full load full load means so daily you are loading full load so if the file already available so instead of uh, overwriting it will take much time so what you can do you can delete file and create a new file that's called other way you can use the delete but normally we will use for file archival this delete we will use for file archival like moving the processed files into archive location and there is other activities uh, executing SSI packages and if you go to iterations and conditions that's filter if condition switch and until so until I have already explained with the uh, wait and until uh, one of the video and if you want to use if conditions what you have to do so auto align so drag and drop if condition based on condition settings you have to give you some condition okay 
if this condition is true it will execute else it will goes to else means else class there you need to provide other uh, whatever you have activities if you want to trigger like uh, for example uh, I don't have any variables to show you okay first we'll create two variables whatever we explain the same thing for until right click on here create a two variables id1 id2 go to set variable copy let this web hook two variables go to variable select the variable and I give some value 50 90 once this is success and condition this is the expression we have to give like both variables if a uh, id1 is greater than id2 then uh, This is the condition. So here you can use this uh, if it is true. Here you can use the activities executing a pipeline. I'm going to trigger one of the pipeline uh, one. Here you can see this activity. If else, if it is false, you want to execute uh, another pipeline as a pipeline three. So like this, we can go for on this pipeline.